Watch you guys got another video another latest windows update causing major problems for people this is the moments update it's the kb5023706 it was the windows 11 march 2023 update and it's causing several users issues including slowing down performance and also problems when downloading the update itself there's loads of problems with this also with the start button not working correctly the Microsoft Feed Hub reports have all claimed that this issue has affected quite a few people. Now, the worst part of this is the update come down as a mandatory update, which means it automatically updated on your system. It would come down as the moments update, failing errors when installing, which were these ones, as you can see on the screen right now. These were the common error codes that people were getting, which is not very good. Also, there was issues. With blue screen of death, in rare cases, some people said they had a blue screen of death. And also, we had other issues as well, which we'll talk about in this video. So if you're one of these people that had this on the system and your system has been running slow, then you have this update on your system. And this is what's causing the problem to literally slow down the PC. SSDs and NVMe drives have been reported to be slower than usual. There is only one fix for this particular problem right now, and that is to uninstall the actual update itself from the computer. Now, not everyone is suffering from this. There is people that have had no issues whatsoever. And uh, I did have the actual start button issue where the start button, when I click on it, it wouldn't open. It just constantly, uh, the start menu would just stay closed. But the button was working, but the start menu would not open. And that was one of the issues that I had. Now, one of my biggest uh, concerns for these updates is no one seems to be doing anything about them. It's a continual process with Microsoft releasing updates that are bricking people's systems and causing major problems. They don't seem to test it. So what is the Insider Program for? The Insider Program is for testing updates before they are released to the general public. This one was a mandatory automatic update, which was released on Patch Tuesday updating Windows 11 H2. People have been posting their feedback on the Microsoft Feedback Hub, and they've also been posting on other well-known sites like Reddit and sites like that, complaining that their speeds have took a massive hit due to this Windows update. Now, what they're saying is some of the speed drops have been pretty drastic for a lot of people. You can see this one at the top here. It tanked his system. It went from 7,000 to 3,000 and sometimes 1,000. So it's impacting the system quite a bit. Now, also, there was someone on our Discord server who was suffering from uh, slow SSD speeds as well. And you can see here, there's plenty of complaints about this issue. And there's been plenty of posts on the feedback hub of Windows for KB5023706. Now, the only way to fix this as of yet, if you're having issues with it, you only need to uninstall this if you are having some major problems, you can go to add and remove programs here, view installed updates, and inside your list here, you should see this one right down here, which ends in 706. This is the actual one that you're going to need to uninstall from your computer if you are having any of these issues. If you're having an issue with maybe the start button not working or start menu not opening, or you're having issues installing the update where it's just freezing and it's giving you an error code like we've talked about earlier on, or maybe you're having some issues with performance, then you need to uninstall that update until Microsoft fix and release patches for these to be fixed. Now, they do investigate this stuff quite regularly, and they will constantly keep updated. Now, if you're using third-party software like Start11 to change the Start menu, or you're using something like Start All Back. These have also been affected. I'm not sure if these have been patched right now, but these are third party software companies that need to patch their software to make it work if you want to keep that update installed. You've also got Translucent TB, which needed to be updated, and also the Explorer Patcher as well. If you use Explorer Patcher, that was another one that was affected by this update. Now, these are classed as third party software, so Microsoft are not too concerned about this. This is down to you to actually contact the uh, third party software creator and try to get it patched. You can see here, it does say that these have been now resolved. I don't know whether it's resolved all of the problems because sometimes this information on here 
is not 100% correct. And they don't always list every single problem on here. So you can see here, there's been some other issues that are ongoing and they've migrated from previous updates. Uh, so you can see here, down here, the start menu is still ongoing. They are still investigating this issue, but this issue is where the actual menu doesn't open. Now you can bypass this by using something like start 11 or start all back, and this would obviously fix it until they fix that update. Or you can just uninstall the update and the issue should go away. Now these are mandatory updates. These come down automatically. So this will affect your computer whether you like it or not. Now you can see here also the start button down on here. When you click on it, it doesn't work. This would be exactly what would happen to your system if you have a start menu issue where it just don't open. Now the simple way to avoid all of this headache would be just to pause updates for a few weeks. You don't have to update straight away. I tell this to people all the time. Don't be a guinea pig for Microsoft and keep updating these updates straight away. If you pause the updates just for a few weeks, then what will happen is you would then see these problems arise and you can then say, well, it never happened to me because I paused my system for a few weeks. And once the update has been fixed and patched, then you can roll out the updates on your system and make sure that you're not having any major problems. Anyway, that would be my advice to you. Save you having all this headache and having to go through all of this drama that Microsoft put on you. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.